everyone, it's Misty here from The Joy Fiddle. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have a mystery box unboxing for you. Um, this is a couple months old. I um, picked up a mystery box from Pink and Main. This is my second year to grab one. Um, this year it was a bigger box. It was like, I think $80 or $85 for $400 worth of stuff. And um, I'm keeping most of it, which is really exciting. <laughs> so I... Um, I have some things from Pink and Main. I don't pick up as much as I want to, but um, I'm really excited to share with you what I picked up. Now, I will be having a de-stash in the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure, quite sure when, um, but be on the lookout for that. I will also be having our 14K subscriber giveaway, so also be on the lookout for that. So you're going to see several hauls from me over the next couple of weeks. Um, I, all of, like, only one of them is recent. Like I, like, I just literally made a purchase yesterday, and that's the most recent. I picked up a couple of things from the new Whimsy stamp release. So, yeah. So, I haven't just been buying, 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 buying. I mean, I have been buying, buying, buying. But, yeah. Anywho. If you missed it, I posted an update video. I will try to remember to link that in the cards or you or at the end, or you can find it on the on the channel and I'll explain why I'm back and what's been happening, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, like the video, turn on your notifications, and let's head over to the craft table and I'll show you all the goodies I got. Hopefully I filmed an intro for this. <laughs> I picked up the Pink and Main mystery box um, uh, about a month ago, I think. And I am in my craft room today trying to get things put away. And I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and open this. So I can put what I want away and the other stuff will go into a de-stash pile, which will be coming soon. So I have a brace. Now this isn't my big one that I normally wear because I have to wear it 24 hours. I have some kind of tendon issue with this thumb. So you're gonna see me with the brace on. Um, for the most part, if I'm just coloring, etc., it'll be the big one. But if I'm if I need both hands because the other one I can't move any of my fingers, <laughs> um, I'll be wearing the big one. So, yeah. So I'm filming this on Sunday, July. Nope, June 30th. And yesterday, Hello Bluebird announced that they are no longer um, doing releases. They're going to be doing um, kits. So they had a sale and I picked up the Christmas Eve stamp set because I've been trying to get it since December and then I placed another order. So they're having a big sale. I don't know if this will go up in time for you to take advantage of it or not. So this is it. This was, oh, I already see some cute things. This was $90, but I think it was supposed to be like $400 value, I think. So let's see, let me pull everything out. I like Pink and Main. Um, I don't buy all of their stuff because, and I don't know if it still happens, but you, their illustrator is on Etsy. And yeah. Okay. It came dinged up, but, and I'm peeling. I'm using a retinol on my body, so I apologize. It's all the things, you guys. It's all the things. Okay. So this is an embossing folder. This is fun. I didn't get to do any pride cards this year and I'm really sad about that, but so cute. Ooh, is this a Christmas stamp set? Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. What is this called? Little Angels. Oh, so you could use it at Christmas or you could use it. Yeah, it's meant for Christmas, but you could use this as a sympathy card, especially that one right there. Okay. Ooh, florals. Wow, I'm, okay, we're three products in and I'm excited. Oh, I really love, oh wait, are these hibiscus? Cherry blossomed. <gasps> Hello, lovely friend. Hello, thanks. You are always on my mind. Happiness blooms from within and you have a beautiful soul. This is six by eight. Wow, okay, we got, ooh, a slimline dye. Fun, what does that say? Sympathy. Oh, with sympathy. You got some flowers. There's another one. This is called a leafy slimline. This would be really pretty like in fall. 
if you cut it out in like copper and then put a jewel tone behind each of the leaves. We'll see if I keep that. I don't make a lot of fall cards because we go straight to Christmas after Labor Day. So this is like a flower burst. The world stencil. Okay. Oh, this one's cute. This is bees. Let it be stencil. So you've got the bee, you've got a wreath, and you've got the honeycomb. Oh, it's one stencil too. That is, that is really cool. Hold on, I need to make a picture of this. We're gonna open this last. Got some stuff for Halloween. We've got a spider web. This one will probably be sold. This one is flower cover dye. This one is some kind of triangles, dotted triangles. That's an embossing folder. Got another stencil. This looks kind of like mid-century modern, which is really fun. Uh, let's keep going through the stamps and dies and then we'll hit the rest of the stuff. Oh, it comes with a bag too, that's real cool. Okay, those are, come back. You come back, you go, you go, okay. So next we have two little fall stamps. This one's Hello There and it's got some acorns and then we got some pumpkins. Those will be definitely in the de stash. This is Bold Greeting Dies. What does it say? Oh, that's an S. Season's Greetings. Wow, that font is something else. <laughs> I may actually have these dies. I will have to look. And if I do, then I will throw them in the, um, what did I call it? The stash. Happy die, I know I have this one. <gasps> oh my God, these are so cute. What are these? Hedgehogs. Oh my goodness, so cute. Here's another one, this is puppies. Are these all fashions? Diggity dog. I love, can you guys see the texture on those dogs? So cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Joel for Easter. Oh my gosh. We are definitely keeping that one. This one will probably go. This is uh, terrific. So you've got some uh, kettles and then you've got some cups and then you've got some... Um, black outlines. Okay, so for paper, we've got Music Speaks. So you can see that, it, so there is some patterns with um, notes, music notes, but you also have some patterns on here that would make really cool masculine cards. You guys know I hate saying that, but it's how people recognize a lot of them. Um, fun fact, I was in band and vocal music. I was in band for eight years and I, I still can't read music. <laughs> if you play it for me, I can play it by ear and I can see, I know the notes, but I, I still cannot read music at all. So this, I already have this and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the cell pile. So we've got some sequins. These are actually dots. So these, oh no, the rhinestones. And some orange ones. Then we have dots. You guys know I love these kind of dots. And then we've got another pack of sequins. I believe I got this one last year. Really pretty. Okay, so last but not least, let's open this one. These are the ones that you can use with toner reactive foil. And you can run it through a, mist, a mink or your um, laminate. All of me loves all of you. I definitely have those, so we'll put that in the cell pile. Turn me over to see my actual size. Okay, here we go. Ooh. 14 toner graphics, two background designs. Step one, cut out. Step two, foil. Step three, assemble. So it comes with an inside
So it comes with the, pat, the outside. It comes with, you are my prayers, deepest sympathy on the loss of your mother, deepest sympathy on the loss of your father. Our thoughts and prayers are with you now with heartfelt sympathy. And then the inside is that those we've lost will never be more than a thought away for it's in our cherished memories. They will forever stay. And then it, it gives you the, um, what you need to do. Oh, so we got two sets. Let me link them together. Oh, these are a nice size too. So you could cut these out with like a stitch rectangle. It's gonna be the inside of a card. These are huge. These are six by eight, I think. We got the big trees. So I think these are meant to be five by seven cards, which we can make. So that's all of that one. Stars can't shine without darkness. These are all just like big. Oh, they're eight and a half by 11, Misty Reed. <laughs> ah. I mean, these aren't, are, these aren't the size of a paper, right? I don't know. Make today amazing. Today is a happy day. Do more of what makes you happy. Don't give up in the middle of your way. You are so wonderful and I'm so very lucky. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Small steps every day. Don't be afraid to be great. Stars can't shine without darkness. Be yourself, inspire others. Be yourself and you will inspire others. Making mistakes is better than faking perfection. Better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. Great things take time, don't give up. If you never try, you'll never know. Every day is a fresh start. Today is the perfect day to be happy. I will say that last year I think I sold everything but the paper and this year I'm going to keep everything except for this this little pile um, I have a lot <laughs> of little rhinestones and stuff so yeah so we got let's go back through it we got the bag the bag We've got the pumpkins and the little Lee and wreath. We've got the tea bundle. We've got seasons greeting and happy. We've got some dip dip dogs. We've got um, a foilable and a paper pad. So all of this will be up for sale when I do my when I do my D stash. And so yeah. So did I think this was worth it? I think so, don't you? I mean, let's see. So the uh, stamp set was 15 and the die set was 16. So that's what? $33? Thir $31? <laughs> Listen, brain fog after pneumonia is a very real thing. And if I haven't told you guys about that yet, Hopefully I will by the time this video goes up. So yeah. So anyway, that's it, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, everything has been so up in the air that it actually feels good to have some, like, some direction on what's happening and where things are going, etc. And I'm I'm really happy to to get back to crafting. I am doing my tenth holiday card series. We'll start later this fall. Um, actually, we start like mid-September. But yeah, I am just so stinking excited. And I appreciate you guys being just patient with me. Um, I'm going to make the most of the next 10 months. And then we'll see what happens after that. But yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Oh, I forgot this. If you haven't already, this is Craft Cleanser. It cleans your stamps, blender brushes, and your crafty tools and surfaces. Cool. Okay. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. 
Be sure you check out the Facebook group and the Facebook page. Those are linked down below. You can check out my other channel at Home With Misty. I am back to designing for Stamp Anything, so you will find that in the description box down below as well. So I appreciate you. I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Oh,